My name is Baljit Singh Mihat. I was diagnosed with a brain tumor last year and then I had my operation. It's been a year now and I feel fine. I'm Professor Susan Shorts. I'm Professor of Neuro-Oncology at St James's Hospital in Leeds and the University of Leeds. So Got Professor Short, what is the Aristocrat trial? The Aristocrat trial is a clinical study for patients who've got um, aggressive primary brain tumours, glioblastomas, that have grown back after primary treatment. And we're testing whether Sativex uh, works alongside temozolomide chemotherapy to slow or prevent the tumours growing back again. What is Sativex? Sativex is a form of medical cannabinoids. It's a mixture of two specific cannabinoids in a very specific ratio that is delivered through a spray uh, which is administered into patients' mouths. So in this trial all patients will get the temozolomide chemotherapy which is standard treatment. Then two out of three patients will get the Sativex which is randomly allocated um, and the other third of patients will get a placebo so a dummy version of the Sativex spray. How long is the trial? It's going to take us probably about 18 months to get um, all the patients we need um, in the trial and then we need to follow each patient up for about a year. So it's going to take us two to three years to get the trial finished. What is your role in this trial? So I'm the chief investigator um, of the study, so I'm the main coordinator for the whole project. How has the trial reached this stage? So we started um, with an earlier phase study where we used this combination in a small number of patients and we looked very carefully at whether there were additional side effects or new problems uh, for the patients who had the Sativex. Um, and we also looked to see if there was any suggestion that patients who had the Sativex did any better. That study showed that this looks as though it's a safe combination and there was a suggestion that perhaps some of the patients who were treated with Sativex did a little bit better than we would have expected. How has the trial been funded? So the trial was actually funded through a crowdfunding initiative coordinated through the Brain Tumor Charity and it allowed us to raise the whole amount of money that we needed for the trial within just a few days. So i um, very grateful to all the people who, uh, who donated through that, through that funding round. Who else is involved in the trial? Like all trials, there's a big team involved. The Birmingham Cancer Research UK Trials Unit um, is helping us coordinate uh, and uh, run and do all the background administration for the trial. There are investigators in centres across the country uh, who will help us uh, recruit patients and look after patients uh, in the study. Would Sativex work being administered by itself? So as far as we know, um, Sativex works best alongside chemotherapy and, and it particularly seems to work alongside temozolomide chemotherapy. As far as we know, it has very little benefit on its own. That's why we've designed this trial specifically for patients who we know will benefit from temozolomide. Can Sativex be accessed by people not on the trial? We would not recommend accessing Sativex um, outside um, of the trial. What about other cannabinoids? Can they be used as a form of treatment for brain tumours? So we don't have any data from any other um, cannabinoids to know whether or not they would do the same as we think Sativex uh, might do. So we would have to test those in the same ways uh, as we've tested Sativex in order to answer that question. Does this trial link with any data platforms such as Brain Matrix? So it does link with Brain Matrix, so we think that a significant proportion of patients who go into this study will also have consented for Brain Matrix, um, which means that we will have access to the genomics data through Matrix for a lot of patients on this um, study. And we're also encouraging all patients who are involved in Aristocrat to use the Brian app so that we can tie that information on quality of life into the information we collect as part of the trial. If the trial is success, what might be next? We'd be very keen, obviously, to think about whether this combination or Sativex with different chemotherapy may help other patients. There are other contexts where we might um, use this combination, for example, in different age groups, different diagnoses, and for tumours with different biology. There are a lot of questions that, we, that we'll be wanting to ask um, if we get any signal that this is uh, helpful in this situation. Who is eligible for taking part in this trial, and how do they get involved? 
So this trial is set up for patients who have got um, aggressive glioblastomas that have grown back after first line treatment. So patients need to have gone through standard radiotherapy and temozolomide chemotherapy, six weeks of radiotherapy and at least an additional three months of temozolomide chemotherapy. They also need to have the, the subtype of glioblastoma that we think is sensitive to temozolomide. Um, and that's indicated by methylation of the MGMT promoter, which is part of the specific molecular tests that we do on all these uh, tumours these days. Patients should be able to get information about the trial from their treating oncology team, who should then be able to uh, get information about where the most uh, local centre is that is putting patients into this trial. They are geographically spread quite nicely around the UK. Where can more information be found? So there is a website run through the uh, Birmingham Trials Unit where information about the uh, trial is posted and also through the Brain Tumor Charity website.